Hello my friends, welcome back to another video. Today we are gonna be testing five star rated swimsuits from five different brands to see what, what truly is the best of the best for summer swimsuits. So my criteria for ordering these swimsuits, number one, it has to have at least five five star reviews. And second, the overall rating of the swimsuit has to be at least four stars. I'm gonna try to get like as close to five as I can, but four star absolute minimum. And then I'm gonna try on each swimsuit here at home just to get the first impressions. And then like my Skims swim review, if you saw that video, I'll test each of them out actually in the water so I can get a better feel for how they hold up, how they move around with activity. So let's let's kick it off with Airy because Airy has always been one of my tried and true swimsuit brands. I feel like they have a pretty accessible price point usually. They have lots of cute patterns and cuts. And the highest rated bottom on their website is this Airy crossover high cut cheeky bikini. It has 53 five star reviews and a 4.8 overall rating. It comes in sizes extra, extra small to extra, extra large and is on sale for $17.47. People really raved about these bottoms, that they're comfortable, stretchy, flattering, fitted, but not too tight, that perfect high, but not too high rise. And really the only complaints I saw were that it is, it is pretty cheeky. So I ordered this one, I got it in an XXL, and then they also had a top in the same pattern that was also highly rated. It's the Airy tie back scoop bikini top, same price, same size range, and a lot of five star reviews, actually 25 of them and a, a 4.5 overall. A lot of the reviews highlighted the softness, the comfort and adjustability of the top, but I did notice that these reviews overall just seemed less enthusiastic and thorough than the ones for the bottoms. And a few of the reviews did mention that it's best suited for smaller chest, which uh, it's got, got me a bit concerned. <laughs> and unfortunately, I don't have the option to size up. I wear a double XL and that is the biggest size that Aerie carries. So that's a bummer. I, I would love to see Aerie expand their size range to be more inclusive. But for now, this is what we've got. We've got the double XL. Here is the top and the bottom. This is a really cute print. This is very soft. Like I said, I've I've had quite a few Aerie bikinis in my life, but this one feels like especially comfy. And here is the top. I mean, it does, it does look a little bit small, but I feel like that's also just kind of like the style of this cut. More minimalistic with the scoop. Like I'm not, I'm not expecting this to be super supportive, but let's find out. So here is the airy suit. I feel really, really good in this. Usually with these kind of reviews, I rate things uh, out of 10, but in, uh, in an effort to keep everything uniform, I'm gonna do five stars for this video. And I would say currently in my closet, I have three swimsuits that I would consider five stars. I'll put pictures of them here. This is like my, my litmus test of sorts. It's one of the skin sets and then uh, two of the bikinis from Fabletic Sporty Swim line. So this is what all the swimsuits I'm testing today have to live up to. Like the, the bar is high. And dare I say, this airy bikini might be up there. I even, it, first impression, I'm just standing here, but I, I love this. I feel really good. It fits great. The top is super adjustable. It has adjustable straps and then also the back band ties. So I was able to make it fit me like perfectly. I, I could see some issues with nip slips moving around in this because it just isn't super locked in, but standing here, it looks super cute. I love the crossover on the front of these bottoms. It's such a cute cut. I think Aerie actually had leggings with the same cut went viral on TikTok like a year ago. So it's cool that they're taking that cut that was so widely loved and using it in a swimsuit as well. The bottoms are a little bit cheeky, not too much. I, I really like the way they fit just standing here, but I could see some issues moving around with it maybe riding in a little bit. But first impression, I just love this. I feel really good. It's a very soft, comfortable fabric, beautiful color and pattern. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and give this 4.8 stars, first impression. But I think where where that rating could really fall is, is moving around, which we will find out. <laughs> Our second swimsuit brand is Albion Fit. This swimsuit was pricey, but man, the reviews are killer. So we have the Olivia Swim Crop in Periwinkle, extra, extra small to extra, extra large size range. 83 reviews and 93% of them are five stars. 
stars. I had to do some mathing on this one since it didn't explicitly say the overall review, but I think that's about a 4.8 star overall rating. And these reviews really raved about it. It's great for bigger chest, for a more modest full coverage top, really comfortable, functional, beautiful color. And the only negatives I saw were two people saying that it is a little bit small. And for how expensive this is, like the reviews better be this good because this top, just the top, $88. And then the bottoms I picked to go with the top, the Periwinkle High-Waisted Swim Skirt, 225 star reviews, a 4.9 out of five overall. That is so freaking high. <laughs> like I feel like usually when reviews are that high, they only have like five. Like for this many, 220, I feel like this has to be the best swimsuit ever. So I've got high hopes. The reviews highlighted the quality, fit, style, and that it really is worth the high price point. And also a lot of people specifically mentioned how great this suit is for all day wear, for lots of different activities, which I love. The swim skirt was $68 and I got both in the double XL. And here we have it. I, this might be the one I'm, maybe, there's one at the end that I'm like really excited to try. But this one, it's it's definitely up there. So here is, ooh, our swim crop. Really nice feeling material. And this cut looks very similar to the Fabletic swimsuit that I love. But it is just kind of simple for $88. And then the skirt. Oh, this is so cute. Look at the little ruffle. And the bottoms are built in, so that's nice. You don't have to like, like with the Skims skirt swimsuit, I had to layer the bottoms under so it had like some bunching. I feel like this is gonna work great. Let's try it. Y'all, I am really just not feeling this one. For like $150 for the set, I expected so much more than this. I mean, we'll start with the positives. I do like the, the look of this. I think the ruffle's really cute. The color's great. The top does feel pretty supportive, but I feel like the fit and the, the fabric overall is just, it's just not, it's not a hit for me. First of all, the skirt really bunches up. I feel like I would be doing this all the time. And even when it is perfectly smoothed out, I'm just not a fan of how this seam in the middle lays on my stomach. It kind of cuts it in half in an odd way. I feel like in the back, even though the bottoms are built in, it still has some like bunching. The top is also riding up quite a bit on the bottom and the, the pads are like very visible in the top. And overall, I just am, I'm really disappointed in this. Also, now that it's on, the, the material is not feeling as high quality as I first thought. It feels a little cheap. I mean, I think the airy material feels infinitely better than this. And it, it's just, it's very tight and it's really thin and flimsy too which I think is part of the reason that it's not staying in place. There is the upside though of it giving like Rapunzel at the beach, which I love. And it is just, you know, a cute look, uh, a, a nice, more modest full coverage option. But for the price, I really expected more. I'm, I'm gonna give it a three out of five stars. Our third brand, Good American, their show off one piece had 39 five star reviews, which uh, math again, it's about a 4.4 overall. And the reviews just went on on and on and on about how amazing this material is. A lot of reviews also specifically mentioned how confident and sexy they felt in this suit, which I love. Negatives, there were some issues with fit mentioned. Some people said it runs a little small, especially with uh, the built-in underwire that it has. It can be a difficult fit in the chest. So I decided to just size up in this swimsuit, which Good American is a size inclusive brand. So I have the option to do that here, hooray. And they have their own sizing model. So they do zero to eight, which is the equivalent of an extra small to a 5XL. So usually I would be a five and I went with the six in this swimsuit. Another pricey one though, freaking $109 for like for a swimsuit. I feel like when the price point is that high, my expectation goes up with it because it's like, what? Like six times the price as the Aerie swimsuit. So it should be six times as good, right? Wow, this is very very soft. Ooh, I like the, the belt aspect on this. I feel like this is gonna be really cute. And I see where the reviews are coming from on this material. I just wanna like rub it. It's so soft. So I love this suit from the underwire down. We'll stick with the positives first. Um, like I said, from here down, just a super cute fit. More full coverage on the back, which I like. It feels like it would stay in place. The belt like really gives a cinching effect. The material is just buttery soft. I want this material on like everything I own. But uh, above that is where all of 
the issues lie. And unfortunately, I think these issues are so glaring, it would keep me from really enjoying this swimsuit. First of all, these just teeny tiny little straps are so finicky. They're adjustable in the back, but it seems like every time I pull the strap, it like shifts down. So that's kind of frustrating. And then also they're just so thin. They're not really giving enough support for me. And the cups just aren't laying right. They're kind of pulling. The underwire is like digging in in weird places. I actually completely took the pads out because they were just completely folded up and it's so difficult to readjust. And I feel like it's all just kind of weighing my chest down and I don't like the look of that. I don't like the feel of that. I just don't know how they got this so wrong, but this so right. I would love to see Good American do like a, a V2 of this for next year where they keep all of this the same, but they fix this situation because this swimsuit has so much potential, but as it stands right now, uh, I'm gonna, Oh man, I'm gonna give it a three out of five as well with the Albion swimsuit. I think I like the look of this one overall way more than that one, but functionally, I'd probably have a much easier time wearing that than actually wearing this in the water. But that's why we have the whole second part of this video because that's when we will really, really find out. So the last two options were definitely more premium priced. So I wanted to find another more budget conscious, highly rated swimsuit. So I started looking through Old Navy and I found this top for $18. It's the Voop Neck Striped Terry Classic Bikini Swim Top in sizes extra small to 4X. And it had 49 five-star reviews with a 4.75 overall rating. A lot of the reviews mentioned the comfort and support of this top, how it's great for bigger chests, and it fits more like a sports bra. So it can just be worn as a top too. Also, I just think this yellow and white striped pattern is it's so cute and classic and summery. And the matching bottoms were also so highly rated with 23 five-star reviews and a 4.5 overall. And honestly, the hardest part about ordering for this video was just finding two pieces that were both highly rated. I'd find like a super cute, highly rated top or bottom that I loved and then could not find anything to match it. So I was very excited when I saw this and saw how amazing the reviews were. The great classic cut that doesn't ride up, how soft it is, it's comfortable, it's a great full coverage option. Mixed reviews on the material though, both the top and the bottom are terry cloth. And there was one review saying that they liked that and another saying that they didn't. So I guess I will be the tiebreaker. Oh, and the bottoms were also $18, but I found a honey code that worked. So that saved me $10.80. So the full bikini top and bottom actually only ended up costing me $25.20. So a great budget friendly option. Um, I say great, I haven't tried it on yet. So we'll see if it's actually great. I'm very very interested in the material on this. This is so cute. I am so excited about this one. And here are the bottoms. Uh, let's try this on. Y'all, this one, this is a hit. I love this swimsuit. The second I put it on, I was like, yep, yeah, this, this fits great. This feels great. This looks great. The bottoms really are just that perfect classic bikini cut with like a really neutral rise, thicker cut sides, full coverage back. And the top is really supportive. It's very much that like sleek, minimalistic, easy cut, like what I wanted the Albion Fit top to be and like the Fabletic swim tops are, where it almost fits more like a sports bra. Like I feel like I could do anything in this. And I'm so surprised there was any debate about the fabric. Like th this is a great material. It's soft, it's unique. It, it feels kind of like a towel material, but less rough. I just love it. I feel so good in this. I have no complaints. It lays perfectly. I've got to give this five stars because there's literally nothing that I would change about this. Definitely the best swimsuit I've tried in this video so far, but uh, we do have one more and uh, I have really, really high hopes for this one. So uh, let, let's see how it compares. So our last swimsuit, this side stroke one piece from Somersault has been on my list to try for so long. <laughs> I get ads for this all the time. And like, look at this photo. Does this not look stunning? The description of this suit says it was called the unicorn of swimsuits by the Today Show. It won top honors at Elle magazine for the number one most wildly flattering one shoulder style. And it comes in sizes zero to 26 with an additional long torso version in all those sizes. And I love that. I love that it's not only inclusive of plus sizes, but also has an option for, for all the tall girlies 
stories out there. And it has, get this, I feel, is this number accurate? This seems absurd, but maybe it is, if it is so like widely loved, it has 5,867 reviews. And it doesn't give the exact number, but the vast majority of those are five stars. And it looks like maybe a 4.4 overall based on like their little star chart. And with all that in mind, the reviews are pretty much exactly what you'd expect. Amazing. It's comfortable, it's flattering, it has a beautiful look, a great fit. It it lives up to the hype. Um, but I, I feel like now might be a good time to mention that it is a $115 swimsuit. I have purchased a swimsuit from Somersault before. I got a bikini last year when I was freshly postpartum and it was expensive, but I love it and it's held up excellently. It feels really high quality, it's well constructed, it's comfortable, it hasn't like stretched out at all, and it's something that made me feel really comfortable and confident. It's not up there with like my other five star swimsuits. I give it like, I give it like a four, maybe a 4.2. The clasp on the back was a little finicky. It wasn't quite as supportive as I wanted, but it's, it's a great swimsuit. So I'm hopeful of the side stroke. Also this swimsuit comes in 12 different color variations. So just like the massive amount of skews that they have to have for this swimsuit of like all the different sizes, the long torso version, all the different colors. This must be a big money maker for them. Um, so I hope it's good. I got the three-toned blue color and here it is. This is so cute. I, I feel like I'm gonna love this. I'm a little skeptical of the one shoulder just because like, is one boob gonna be here and the other one's gonna be here? I don't know, we'll find out. Okay, this this is this is an interesting swimsuit. So first with the positives, I the material on this is fantastic. It's very similar to the Good American material in that it feels thick, but not heavy. It's soft, it's buttery. I like that. I like the color blocking. I am mostly on board with the cut. And the, the side that has the strap, I think is like perfect. But this side, I, I'm pretty concerned about because with the one shoulder, I expected this to be more fitted, but it's actually kind of loose. Like I feel like if I bent over, this fabric would just roll and then I would just be like full boob out, <laughs> which if I was still breastfeeding, you know, might be good, but I'm not. So it's, it's not. <laughs> I don't think this is a swimsuit I would be able to like take care of Grace in. I think if I was holding her on this hip, the fabric would get pulled down, it would sag. I just wouldn't be comfortable. I'd be feeling like I have to do this the whole time but it is just such a cute look. It, it is kind of giving gymnast though, or maybe like a like Pokemon trainer, like Misty. No, maybe not Misty. Maybe like one of the trainers that you go up against when you're like surfing to Cinnabar Island. Like it's very that. I'm interested to see how I feel in this one actually wearing it for the day because it's such a cute concept, but how functional is it actually? Now, even though this is the last swimsuit I'm trying on, I think I'm gonna wear this one first because the first activity I planned to test one of the swimsuits is going for a little afternoon at a local resort with Kenzie. And I feel like this is very, this is very like lounging, very resort, very like mom on vacation in the Hamptons. So I feel I feel like this could be fun to dress up a little bit. So let's, uh, let, let's go. Oh wait, except I didn't give this a, a first impression rating. Um, I'm gonna go four out of five, which which with all of my concern over this seems a little bit high, but overall, I do think this is a great swimsuit and I like the feel of it. It's like, it's giving a little bit of compression, but not too much. We'll, we'll see how that rating changes uh, after today. Okay, first option with the swimsuit is just denim shorts, or I have this little like fishnet wrap, which actually I'm pretty sure is also from Somersault. I do feel like this plays more into the like bougie by the pool look, but I kind of like the simplicity of the denim shorts better. And I feel like I could dress it up with some fun jewelry. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the shorts and uh, we'll, we'll head over to the resort. All right, 30 seconds in the pool and I already had to cover up my first nip slip. It's so bad. Nope, that's 
Nip slip number 473. Okay, if this was a little loose before, getting in the water has made this 10 times looser. The second I swim or even just go underwater, like literally just doing anything in the water with this top, it folds over. It, it, it's a no-go. But it looks so cute. It really looks... This is a lounging only swimsuit. <laughs> Okay, so final verdict. I wanted to love this swimsuit so badly, and I do love it outside of the pool. Like for lounging, hanging out, laying out, taking photos. This is easily like a, a 4.5 out of five star swimsuit, but in the water, it, it's like a one. <laughs> I really couldn't do much of anything swimming around without this piece just completely folding down. And we weren't even doing like that much activity in the water. This I could never wear to the beach, to a water park. Even just going in the pool with Grace, I don't think this would be a swimsuit that would work for me. So overall, I'm gonna go ahead and give it two, no, that's too low. I'm gonna go ahead and give it three out of five stars. All right, got on the Albion swimsuit for the beach today. And I'm a little nervous about wearing this one to the beach because I just don't wanna be, I don't wanna feel like I'm being held back at all by what I'm wearing. And even though I do, I do like the way this looks just standing here looking in the mirror. I feel like with the slightest bit of movement, I then have to readjust everything. So we'll see how this goes. And then I'm also bringing, grab this. I'm bringing the airy set with me and I'm gonna change into this after the first couple hours so I can really get a feel for both. And also I'm realizing how well these colors go together. Like the purple of the Albion set is like pretty much the same purple in the airy set. So if I end up liking like the top of the Albion suit better, but the bottoms of the airy suit, I think these could mix and match pretty well. But all right, I'm gonna pack my beach bag, grab my boogie board, pick up some lunch on the way, and uh, we'll, we'll put these swimsuits to the test. It is a beautiful day. It's a perfect day out here. <laughs> All right, so uh, m much like my boogie board here, this swim skirt did not fare well in the ocean. This is pretty much the, the state that it was in the entire time. The first 30 minutes, I was readjusting it constantly. And then I just kind of got over it. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna enjoy my time in the ocean. But with every little wave, little movement, this ruffle basically wanted to migrate up here. And the top band here wanted to roll down to like, here, which is not my desired look <laughs> with this swim skirt. As cute as I felt in this before I got in the water, and I did really like it then, like we took some photos, and I felt really confident with the way it looked. It's just, it does not work in the actual water. Very ready to change out of this, but the, the top, I the top I actually love, I have zero complaints. Very supportive, everything stayed covered and in place, very comfortable, low maintenance. So all things considered, I, I'm gonna give this swimsuit a three out of five stars. I really don't see myself reaching for this swim skirt again, unless it was just for like styling or for a photo. The top though, I think I will continue to wear, um, but let's grab the airy suit and let's get changed. Ta-da! <laughs> I am I'm very hopeful for this swimsuit because it's just like such a such a simple straightforward cut. And at the very least, I think I will be uh, doing less readjusting than I was with the skirt. So I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my beach day in this suit and uh, we'll, we'll see how it holds up. is flying all over the place. Overall, this swimsuit was 
pretty great. I, I just love the way that I feel in this. It really brings out my confidence. Something about the cut, especially of the bottoms and the, the softness of the material, the really cute print, I, I just love it. I will say though, I, I think this top especially would be better suited for the pool or just more low impact water activities. It didn't feel the most secure. It moved around kind of a lot and these straps also get twisted really easily, but I still love this top and uh, the bottoms I love even more. That little like crossover in the front where it kind of like dips down under my belly button. I just, I love, I love that look. They didn't feel too cheeky to me either and they stayed in place pretty well. I only had to uh, de-wedgie myself a couple times, which uh, for the amount of ocean frolicking that I was doing, it, not too bad. <laughs> they didn't stretch out too much. It's just a very comfortable, easy to wear swimsuit that really brings out my confidence. I think this is gonna be a go-to swimsuit for me for pool days. But for the beach, I think the better combo would be the airy bottoms with the Albion Fit purple top. Those two pieces together for the beach, I think would almost be like a five-star swimsuit. But both airy pieces together overall, I, I would give the swimsuit uh, I'm torn between four and four and a half, and I just don't think I should go 4.25. Think that's a little much. Um, so you know what? As confident as I feel in the swimsuit, we're gonna round up 4.5. All right, got on the Good American swimsuit for today, and the fit problems are very much still present. But regardless, looking at myself in the mirror in this, I'm like, I, I like this. I feel good. It is such a cute design with the belt and everything. Thing. But we'll see how good I feel once I am actually moving around and swimming. I just put Grace down for a nap, so I'm gonna go spend some solo time out in the pool, just swim and lounge, and maybe maybe take some self-timer pics since I've gotten photos in every swimsuit so far in the video. And then when Grace wakes up, I'll just bring her out there with me for a little fun mommy-daughter pool afternoon. I had a vision. I was gonna lay on this cute little unicorn floaty and take a self-timer picture, but trying to balance on this thing is uh, le less graceful than I anticipated. <laughs> oh, someone just woke up. Whee! You wanna see the unicorn? Ready? We're back inside now having a snack and I have to say this swimsuit actually worked out better than I expected. Like yes, these straps are too thin. These cups are, are not properly sized for my body, but I felt pretty good in this. It, it stayed in place relatively well. I, I did some minor adjusting, but I didn't feel like I was flying out at every opportunity. And I just love this fabric and the belted design and the fit of the lower half of the swimsuit. I think for someone who has a smaller chest, this would be a five-star swimsuit. Even though it is very pricey, the quality, I think, lives up to the price. But with all things considered and the, the fit issues that I do have up top, I, I'm i gonna give it a four out of five stars. Oh, also, I had wondered what it was gonna be like having to go to the bathroom in this swimsuit with the belt, like would I have to completely undo it? But actually, the belt is really stretchy, so I, I didn't have to readjust that at all. It was easy peasy. I wanna find more more belted swimsuits. I, I think that that and the material is probably my favorite part of the swimsuit. Almost forgot to film in this uh, before we left, but I am wearing the Old Navy swimsuit today. Styled it with this little white button up as a cover up, some denim shorts, Birkenstocks. And uh, the Old Navy swimsuit is, is probably gonna have the most strenuous of the testing activities in this video. And that is because we're going to the water park. So I'm gonna be slipping, sliding, wave pool, chasing, and grace around all the things. And hopefully this swimsuit can keep everything comfortable, supported, in place, so I can just let loose and, and have fun in it. Mm -hmm. 
This swimsuit was super comfortable and low maintenance all day. Even on the water slides and stuff, like I had to do very little readjusting. I felt very secure. And I think most importantly, I felt like I was really able to just enjoy my time at the water park with very little mental energy being taken up by worrying about what I was wearing. Like I never really felt the need to fidget with it other than the, the tag in the back of the swimsuit kept sticking out. So I kept having to tuck that back in, but I'm just gonna cut it out and it won't be a problem next time I wear it. My only like actual complaint with the swimsuit is I just, I don't feel like it really had that wow factor for me. I like it a lot. It was very comfortable, very easy to wear, but I, I especially the top, I just don't feel like it was really doing anything for me. It kind of flattened my chest. Like it was supportive, but it wasn't really giving any lift. <laughs> Easily four and a half stars though. And I think comfort wise, this is probably my favorite of the video. Aesthetically, it's gotta be that somersault one piece. Like even with the issues I was having in the water with the, the non shouldered side falling down, I still think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of the swimsuit because just that design is so stunning and I felt really confident in it. So I think this is probably gonna be my go-to swimsuit for like lounging, resort wear, the more chill water adjacent activities. And my overall winner of this video, it, it's a really close call between the airy swimsuit and the Old Navy one. The Old Navy one was more secure and low maintenance, but something about the airy swimsuit had that wow factor that I just didn't get today wearing the Old Navy one. And you know what's interesting? Those two swimsuits, my two favorite in this video, were the two cheapest ones. So it just goes to show that just because you pay more, doesn't doesn't always mean you're getting a better product. But I don't think any of the swimsuits in this video beat out my, my top three that I already have. My litmus test swimsuits, those, those still sit on the throne of my go-to swimwear. But you know, I, I definitely wanna try out the airy bottoms with the Albion Fit top because I think that combination could be a contender. So I'm gonna have links to each of these swimsuits down in the description if you wanna check any of them out. And uh, let's kick it back to the outro that I already already recorded because I do have an announcement in there. So uh, watch till the end. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Also, before I go, I did just wanna let you know in case um, any of you guys only watched this channel and didn't see my vlog talking about this, I am gonna be taking a break from this channel for the next few months. I just wanna slow things down a little bit. I want more time to spend with Grace. We've got some travel coming up. And this channel, more so than any of my other channels or projects, just takes a lot of time to make each video. And I've been feeling a little burnt out on that. So I think I'm just gonna focus on the vlog, the podcast, my TikTok and, and social media for the next few months. So if you wanna keep up with me, you can follow me there. I'm gonna link all of those platforms in the description, but I hope you have a great rest of your summer. Be confident, be kind to your body and I'll see you later. Bye.